In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can reduce a fraction that has variables in it. To help us reduce fractions with variables, we will write each exponent as a product. This will make it easier to see which factors can be divided out of both the numerator and denominator. So, for example, if we have 14x squared y over 21xy cubed, we're going to take a moment to rewrite this problem. Whoops. To rewrite this problem, let's write 14 with its prime factorization. 14 is divisible by 2 7 times, which is divisible by 7 once. So 14 is 2 times 7. And then we have x squared x squared means x is multiplied twice. So we'll write 2x is multiplied times y. In the denominator, we have 21. Let's find its prime factorization. Divide by 3 7 times, divide by 7 once. So its prime factorization is 3 times 7. And then we have an x and y cubed. y cubed means y is multiplied 3 times. This makes it easy to see our common factors of 7 in both the numerator and denominator. We also see there is 1x in common in both the numerator and denominator. And there is 1y in common in both the numerator and denominator. Dividing out those common factors in the numerator, what's left is a 2 and an x, or 2x, over in the denominator 3 y, y. 3, and when y is multiplied together twice, that means it's y squared. And we end up with our reduced final solution. In much the same way we reduced with numbers by dividing out common factors, by listing the variables as a product, we can divide out common variable factors as well. Let's try another one. Here we have 24a cubed b squared. With the numbers, let's use the other method this time, where we simply look at 24 and 10, and we're going to try and identify what the common factors are without having to go through the work of prime factorizations. In the numerator, a cubed, a, 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 b squared, b, b, 3 a's and 2 b's. In the denominator, there's an a and b cubed, or b, b, b. When we reduce, we see one of the a's can quickly divide out. A b from the numerator and denominator, another b from the numerator and denominator. And then we can look at 24 and 10, and we can see that they are both divisible by 2. So let's divide them both by 2. 24 divided by 2 is 12. We also have a, a, which we can write as a squared, meaning we have two a's multiplied together. And in the denominator, 10 divided by 2 is 5, and we still have a b. So our fraction here is reducing to 12 a squared over 5 b. We can reduce by writing the exponents as a product and dividing out our common factors.